zeros to z's, and I turn the x's to y's. So on the way back, I might pass through z, z's, and I'm going to have to pass through the y's also to get to the next legitimate 0 or x. 0 or x's need to be copied. z's or y's have already been copied. Make that as a comment. So y's get passed through. Z's get passed through. Zeros or X's get copied. All right, let's go back to our. So that's it for the inner loop. It's complete. There's nothing wrong with it. Let's go back to this outer loop. This is OK. This is OK. This is OK. What about here in the outer loop? I'm, I'm backing up through the z's and turning them into zeros. But I got to back up through the y's and turn them back into x's. So it looks like this. If there's a y here, turn it into an x and keep going left. And if there's more, then do them all. And then if you hit a dollar sign, continue. So back up through the zeros. After you're done backing up through the zeros, back up through the y's, turn them into x's. This puts zeros back into z's, x's back into y's. Keeps track of my double counter that I have here. One that's counting how much of this zero to the n I've pulled over, and one that counts how much, how many times I've done that. That's really why I have two different variables, because I have two different counters. The purpose of this tedious example is to give you a sense of how this kind of feels like a program. There's a double loop here, and there's two indices in this loop. One index in the loop is the z's. The other index in the loop is the y's. When you get back to the initialize the loop, the z's turn back to zeros, the y's turn back to x's. I think we're almost done. Uh, good. I'm going to turn all the x's into y's, then, as we go. One by one, we're going to turn them into y's. If you see a 0, you turn it to a z. If you see an x, you turn it to a y, which, whichever one of those happens. And then you walk all the way to the other end and drop a 0. Then go all the way back. And then if you see an x, you turn it to a y. If you see a 0, you turn it to a z. But the ones that are already y's and z's, you've counted those, so you don't want to count them again. When you're all done copying it over, this whole sequence of zeros looks like z's and y's. And when you back up to do it again, to copy it over again, you want to turn them back to zeros and x's so that they look like what you really are counting. So mm -hmm. it's that in that corner be x, y, r? Uh, no, 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 down the corner that you added right there. Could that be x, y, r? No. No. No, this is the place where we're looking at an x and we're saying this x hasn't yet been moved over to the other side. The 0 that represents this x spot hasn't been moved over to the other side. So we're going to mark it with a y. That says, says that we've, we've moved this guy. And then we want to go through all the other x's before we go back here and mark the next one. Right? We don't want to move too many at once. We're only moving one here. Does that make sense, Tom? You know, if this still isn't clear after we're done in five minutes, it would probably be a worthwhile thing if you're playing with a Turing machine simulator. You could probably put this up on the graphics screen in five minutes and watch it go. And actually, maybe I'll even have Dimitri do that in recitation. It might even be useful to see it. Probably better than just staring at this. All right, let's finish it up. We're almost done. Which one of these states do we actually exit from? It's the hidden one. <laughs> we're backing up through the ones and we'll see if there's an x next. Where is that? Uh, over in the far upper right. Here? I think when you back through these Z's. You won't have any Z's. They'll just be Y. Be just, just a y. y there. So when you hit Y, you yeah. want, want to go to your compare. Hmm. I guess that's true, but that's not where I did it. <laughs> hmm. Did you make it all the way back to well, no, you couldn't. 
All right, so say it looks like this. Uh, we've just copied everything over, so it looks like uh, y to the n, right? 1 to the n squared, and o to the n squared. And now we are, we are here, backing through the 1s. And at this point, I say you're going to get a z, but I see. But you might not get a z, because it might be a capital Y. Mm -hmm. And if it's a y, it means that you're done. done. Right. 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 So you know what I did? I didn't wait for this. I actually did this on the way forward. Uh, way forward the next time? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do it your way. Your way's better. So out of this state, it's too bad, though, because I drew it thinking I'd leave from here. But All right, so we're leaving here. Bye-bye. Dot, dot, dot. Comes out here.